my Gavan and Melanin, and well met indeed. I am Arik here, Galadir, and the head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer. And welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we continue on as the Remnants of Angmar. Our campaign is still going very nicely. We have now taken the city of Bree in the last episode, and the Bree landers are soon to be eliminated. However, on the horizon, surrounding the shoppers, came the thundering roar of Captain Loney. The dwarves are coming for us, and we have naught but <laughs> pathetic hillmen in their way. All Captain Loney, rest campaigns. assured, will be the first of many to come through there, and we are in danger. Additionally, we only have 13 regions, and we need 40 to win this campaign, which is outrageous. Um, and <laughs> But we only need to kill Breland and the Dunedain. And, um, well, the Brelanders are basically kind of out. It will be an uh, honor and the Dunedain have but you. one region, if memory serves. So, in some respects, it's going remarkably well. And in others, it's about to absolutely unfold about us. Oh, look at the retraining there. Bree can do a lot of things well. That's good. That's very good indeed. Uh, now, on the topic of ending... Here's what I've been thinking of. One campaign is already gone. The Woodland Realm is lost to us. There is naught but um, defeat ready. waiting for us ready. down that path. Or that ready. was waiting for us down that path. It has, of course, now gone. Hurry up. This um, but I'm thoroughly enjoying the Angmar and Gondor campaigns. However, I am enjoying the Khazad-dum campaign immensely. But of all three of them, that is the one now where there is no challenge left. We're going to fight Isengard. We're going to fight the Misty Mountains still. We've already fought them a lot. Um, and we're counting down to victory. Um, we need something like 12 more regions or something. I think it's around that. We've already defeated Dunland and now we need to defeat the Misty Mountains, which won't take too long. Yes, Mithlon fell. Uh, and now all we need to do is claim about, as I say, about 12 more regions. And we've now currently got a free slot in our schedule. Oh, the dwarves didn't attack. And that is the freakiest portrait I've seen. <laughs> Misty Mountains are doing well. Now, the plan with the next factions to play um, campaigns of, as you will all no doubt be aware, is to play only two nations, but each of them will have two videos a week. So we'll still have four videos of DAC a week, but two of those videos will be dedicated to a single campaign and the other two to the other campaign. And it would continue like this uh, for some time. Uh, well, intentionally, fight. potentially, it, potential, potentially, indefinitely. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I will take the. No, no we don't need the cast box in the Shire. Uh, two hundred three of you. Two hundred three of you. Get ready for fighting. One of them. One of them. Oh, Let's still take two more. A <gasps> unit uh, you know, of wild from our you are going for the Shire. And if Bree gets in your way, Bree as well. Now, the remainder of you leave behind 67 of the. Straight in there. Captain Bill, you've got nothing, friend. You are to die. Yeah. So, here's my thinking. When after not this week, because I've got um, something, to, I've got something for it. But the week after, so essentially, um, one week from ah, oh, Jack of Rabbits. Bear with me. Welcome back. Uh, absolutely no idea where that crashed. Just simply loaded up the game again, played again, and it worked fine. Uh, just the game showing its age. So my thinking, basically, to cut this long-winded story short, is the week after this coming week the gap in our recording schedule would be taken up by one of the new campaigns that would be on version, well, what will be version 2.0 for you in a very long time. Uh, but is at the moment kind of like version, I don't know, 1.25. Well, no, it's it's so different already to 1.2, actually. Um, so I would hope to fill that slot with one of the new campaigns. But then what I would like to do, because I want to start both of those campaigns at the same time, is I would be very keen to essentially this weekend, or next week rather, when do I do the Kazadun videos? On the Monday, so you watch them on the Tuesday. So next Tuesday, potentially have that as the final Kazadun campaign. No matter where it gets to, just call that the final episode and let's just call it a victory. Um, because, as I've said many, many times, and I've laboured the point too much now, that campaign is won. There's nothing that can happen in that campaign that will make us lose. 
It's it's one. There is no two ways about it. So I'd be tempted to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little poll to this video once again. And I'm going to ask you for your thoughts. Would you like to uh, to basically see next the next Kazadum episode to be the last Kazadum episode? Um, and therefore, not this week, but the week after, therefore, we would have two new campaigns. You'd have this whole coming week then to vote for the new campaigns, and then next week they would start. And then when Angmar and Gondor finish, then you would get two videos per week of those campaigns. Now, I can't imagine that Angmar nor Gondor are probably going to last anything more than maybe a month or so. Um, of videos, I could in I could additionally increase the amount of time we're spending on them so that they speed up, as in make the videos just that little bit longer. Maybe shift the recording schedule around so that I can record the Gan Gondor and Angmar on days when I have more time. Oh, that was a good shot, and try and record for a little bit longer. Um, and then when they end, as I say, the slots would then be taken up by the new campaign. So the reason I want to do the new campaigns mostly is because we have so many new features in 2.0 already. I'm absolutely chomping at the bit to show them to you. Because the whole point of the channel, as I've said many times, is to show off the new changes that we are bringing to you in the future. And at the moment, those changes aren't being shown off because like this, this is an, I'm playing on an older version than even you're using at the moment. Uh, massively outdated. So I would love to get the new campaigns out. And additionally, the fact that the Woodland Realm one has freed up a slot, and the fact that Kazadum is basically one, I'm so happy and eager to make the next Kazadum episode the last. So vote in the poll. Would you like to see the next Kazadum episode to be the final episode of that campaign? Or would you like that campaign to continue until it is completed? Like, until it is completely won? <clears throat> I would, of course, if the vote is to make that the last Kazadum episode, I would probably make it an hour long. Um, in fact, there's no probably around it. If it is going to be the last episode, it'd be an hour long. So you'd get to see at least that army I'm building in Kazadum with Sons of the Fallen and the finest of Kazadum's units. You'd get to see that army in action. And you'd, you'd get to see quite a lot of, the, of us taking down the Misty Mountains. Because you can do quite a lot in an hour if you um, go about it quickly and efficiently. So... That's going to be in the poll, so vote. Vote, 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 vote. Your opinion is, of course, what guides the channel. Mostly I do what I want, but um, if I, what I want is not something you want to see, then no one's ever going to watch it, and the whole point of this is Kaputsky. We're trying to drum up support Only for the enemy force remains. Yeah, I've got some trolls in there. Yay, trolls! The Greenway Guards are the real problem. But we've got those Westron defenders fighting for their lives, so break out there. Run over here. Fight those. There we are. That's them. Captain Bill is down. 84% of the enemy, in fact, is down. Leaving only these Greenway Guards who look like they're about to run. They are. Trolls are ruining everything. Send the trolls ahead. End. 220 orcs lost their lives. And 90 enemies were slain by the... Oh, well done, bodyguards. Taking out the bodyguards, 65 orc marauders. Things that I'm most keen to show you, all the new strategy models that you won't have seen. The new wild men battle maps, I'm really keen to get those in the game. The new start changes for rune, the, like, just so much. The new river in Harad. The fact that Mordor can be defeated without needing the ring now, so if you're one of those unfortunate people where the ring crashes your game... It doesn't matter anymore. You can just destroy Mordor normally and, and be done with it. Just don't bother going after the ring. Uh, loads of little things like that. New, A couple of new units here and there. There's so many cool new changes. But Angmar and Gondor I don't want to replace uh, because I'm really enjoying them. However, there's a massive possibility that in this faction vote, from what I've been reading so far, there's a very large possibility that Dol Amroth is going to be voted as the next faction to play as and Gondor in my Gondor campaign in order to achieve victory we've got to destroy Harad and Umbar um, and in so doing we're going to fight Kand and this has made me actually think that maybe Gondor should be the campaign to end because Dol Amroth only fights against Umbar, Harad and Kand and you're about to watch all of that in Gondor and that's given me a pause for thought Listen up! Put your feet up! Get ready for... Oh! 
Uh, we can send quite a few bits and bits back. No, we can get, for some reason we can get free wargs here. Did they rebuild? Oh, they restored the crypt. Bugger. That means we can't get Barrow Whites. We're here just too late. That's a shame. Although we can recruit almost half our army. Why is that? Who has held this town for so long? Oh, I think it starts off as followers of Melkor. Alright. So the Northern Dunedain have got Feodor. I wonder... They've lost Lone Lands, haven't they? Yeah. And the Dwarves did not attack us, which is very interesting to me. But what we do need is a general. And we cannot train one. Haven't we got someone lingering? Ah, oh, you're recruiting an army though, aren't you? You're needed. Ah, Roskirven. Yes. Take the unit of the York fellas. Get ready for oh, you're our faction leader. Right, yeah, you, come back. we we'll get you defending against no the dwarves. Objective I think we're in an end turn there then. Marvellous. Let's see what the dwarves do now. I, to be honest, would love to start two new campaigns. Oh, Bree, come on. Don't they're be like that. Um, I would really, I would really like it, but just purely because I'd love to play with version 2.0. I'd really love to play with 2.0 because the changes that we brought in are really good. The stability should be even better. There are new, it's just so much new stuff. The Orcs of the Misty Mountains, Manganel, you might get to see that in action, although it depends. Um, just to talk a little bit about what is going to come, as I have said, what I'm going to do is allow you to vote first of all. Well, what I will do is I'll put up every single faction in the game to be voted for. I'll probably remove the ones that we've... No, no, you know what? I'm going to put everyone up. Literally everyone is going to be available. Um, and what I'm going to do, though, is let's say... And so you'll be able to cast... Um, you can't vote for the same thing twice, but you'll be able to vote more than once. I can't make it so that you can only vote twice, but I can make it so you can vote more than once. And what the plan will be... Oh, Rich, you just have no hope here. And you're Bree's last chance. And you're about to throw it all away on a whim. Oh, I'm so tempted to not even fight this battle. Oh, yeah, look, the stats are outrageous in our favour. Sorry, everyone. I've, all, I've auto resolved, which is bad, I know. But when the odds are that heavily in your favour, there's just. Right, you lot go back to the Shire. Objective complete. Dildledore marching through our lands. They are getting ready to attack the elves. I need to build economy, as many people say. Although we've just taken Bree, and Bree's really wealthy. And Arquette. We can get roads in Arquette, although it doesn't do anything. What was I just talking about? It's gone out of my mind. Piff. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating when that happens. Orcs! No sleeping here! Come on! Objective complete! Oh, yeah. Well done. Listen up. No sleeping here! We have oh, I think we're another end turn. It will come Get back to me in a moment. Fighting. I will remember Get what I was talking about. It's slipping away more and more, though, as I'm thinking about other things. Ah, Objective the faction vote. Complete. So, you'll be able to vote for more than one nation. Um, and cast your votes for whoever you want. Obviously, don't cast for everyone, because then your vote doesn't count. So what I would ask you to do is vote for one good nation and one evil nation. But what I'm going to do is uh, whoever wins the overall vote will take them. And whether they're good or bad, we will then discount everyone that's near them. And then so the second highest from not their region would then be the second highest. So, for example, let's say that Rune and Dorwinian um, were number one and number two, respectively. Then what I would do is Rune would be the bad nation to play as. Um, or let's say it's Rune, Dorwinian and then Bree a third. Well, then Dorwinian would then be discounted because they're in the same region as Rune. So we don't want two campaigns from the same area. So Dorwinian would then be discounted and Bree would then win. So Come essentially what I'm asking you to do is vote for one good nation and one bad nation, but make sure that they're on opposite sides of the map. Now, I think most of this is get moot because fighting. I'm pretty sure that almost everyone wants to vote for Rune and Dol Amroth. They're the biggest runaway winners I've seen. So this shouldn't be a problem. But um, that's... Um, so just, yeah, just make sure that you split your vote. Because I was thinking I could do a good vote and an evil vote. Oh, look, the Veil are coming as well. So you could do, like, vote for the evil nation you want, vote for the good nation that you want. Get ready for fighting. 
Come on! But Objective um, if, take, for example, again, Darwinian and Rune both won that vote, then what do you do then? Because you don't want to do a Darwinian and a Rune campaign next to each other. Um, so, no I'm, to be honest, I, I personally would not vote for Rune because I think their campaign is going to be a doddle and I'm not all that keen for that. But I've never played as them, so there is, a, there is that side to it as well. I'd probably learn a thing or two. Um, you and the halberdiers that are training can stay there. And what I might do is send you north to go and... Well, you can take that fort for now. And then we'll scout the border with some towers and whatnot. Get ready for Basket fighting. deep, hello. Is that what you want? To and go aside. Has got a reasonable garrison, but will be an honor Rich seems to have gathered some you. men from somewhere. Listen up. Oh. Let's take both of those, merge those into that army. This place can train so much, it's just unbelievable. Get, get me a barracks there. Um, so the faction vote video is not has not gone up. Obviously, I will wait to find out what your poll answer is, what you all say, what you all suggest. And once I've got a reasonable suggestion from whether or not Kazadum is going to end, then I will decide. Please don't bribe. Please don't bribe. Then I'll decide. We'll go from there. Now, if the suggestion is to continue with Kazadum, then I for the next few weeks I will just pad out the extra day that we've got with various videos. So the odd maybe extra video of one of the re fake factions. Potentially use that time to do another law video, um, although that won't matter too much. You'll see in a little in um, you'll understand why, and or potentially do alternatives. For example, Age of Empires. I haven't done a video for that in a while, and that always gets reasonably positive. Or I could do a one-off uh, Heroes game again, although I'm appreciate that Heroes isn't as popular as I hoped it would be. No sleeping here. Philistines, all of you, wanting all of your modern games. Also, allow me to apologise for how lapsed I have become with my tower building. We, I've let the side down of towers, but it's just not been. It's when the, the decision is to lose the campaign or build towers, um, it becomes rather easy. But I will at least give you a nice battle to end on. Uh, not lose the campaign or build towers. Because then you'd always build towers. No, <laughs> the decision is if you build towers... The d <laughs> I couldn't build towers because we ran out of money. Is where I'm trying to go with that. Welcome, unfortunately, to what a Hobbit battle map looks like. Because despite the cities and towns having unique designs, the battle maps themselves are actually totally normal human towns. Right, we got four of those. so Or five of those, in fact. All right. Are you ready? You guys come from this side. Team up with those archers. All right, from over this side, we will send in all of those. You might as well go all, 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 all everywhere, actually. You guys are going from that way. You gentlemen are all grouped up over there. And that leaves from this side Oh, have I turned down the camera? Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, buttons are all over the shop. It's alright. And from this side, we're sending the trash. But then back them up with the best. And also send the archers over here, actually. You three, for now, just kind of stand on the edge. Okay. Goblin band, hit those Westron defenders. You, straight down the middle, merchant militia. Gentlemen, you're the same. You guys go and hit the restaurant as well, and the archers get ready to start raining hell into that central section. Pressing the wrong keys. Right, gentlemen on this flank, do not be in defensive stance, do not be in that mode. And go for it. You guys coming over here, and well, it split you again, still further. You guys go over there. Everybody run. The bell tolls. The villagers flee to their houses, but it'll be for naught. Their deaths will come.
in we go. Slow it down because it can't handle this many people because the game is old. And it can't even use my beastly computer because my computer is unfortunately too good for it. The Essentially, the best way to sum this up is like trying to play a floppy disk on a CD drive. The computer is better than the floppy disk, but just can't play it. And that's the best analogy I think I can get. Your computer can be as great as it wants, but there's a point where being so great is then just a massive nightmare. Right, unfortunately, owing to the nature of towns, this is the best that we can get in terms of how many places we attack, who attacks whom. I can at least speed it up a bit so that we... But look at that. Oh, we're pushing in on this side, which is good. Alright, let's be a bit cheeky about this. The more people that are in there, just the better we'll then be. Oh, my voice is cracked. So in we go, just push everybody in. And hit them. How are we doing over that side? Merchant Militia are handing us our butts. I really, really hope you vote for Bree. I, I honest, I, I hope Bree wins. I'm happy to play as Rune because I've never played as him and I think it'll be an experience. Of course, I would love to play as Dol Amroth. They're my favourite nation. There's no way around that. I love them. They're apparently an awful lot harder in 2.0 that I haven't yet tested because I've played them so many times. Um, and so I'd love to sink my teeth into that. But there is just something about Bree that I love. Although I can understand why you might not vote for Bree because they don't have very many units. The campaign's not going to be wildly varied. Um, and I can, so I can totally understand that. Get some flanking in at least on them. And in the centre, there we are. Now, there will, of course, be more changes to come for version 2.0. Loads more changes. Plenty of things are planned. The 2.0 has changed so much already that if I were to play it now, you would already get a massive insight into what's coming in for version 2. A huge insight into what's coming. And particular focus is obviously put on the Wild Men settlements. I'm so thrilled that we've got those in now. They are so cool. The Northern Dunedain village settlement and then when they upgrade, they look amazing. Uh, and Elite Dwarf has done so many other cool changes and fixes and stuff. And of course, I'm looking to having a fixed game. So Kirith Ungle and the Black Gate, places like that will actually work, which would be delightful. <laughs> uh, and I think it's just a, go a good time for something new, you know. I just think it's a good time. But what we're going to have to dis... But then that's the point of doing two videos per, per week per nation. Because obviously these campaigns have taken quite a long time. And so I think it probably has been maybe a... It was maybe a bad idea to do four campaigns at once. Because as much as I've enjoyed it, and the variety is good, the variety is very good, it does mean the campaigns go very slowly, and you're at playing them for weeks. Whereas if you did two videos per campaign, they'd be a lot quicker, they would end quicker. Like the Khazad Dum campaign, if we'd done two videos of that per week, that campaign would have ended ages ago. And I mean ages ago, probably a m over a month ago, maybe more. Because like, it's just, it's so nearly there already, and we've had all this time. Um, so, I'd be very keen to see twice a week. But twice a week, of course, won't come to Langmar and Gondor end. So we will start with four campaigns. But they will change to two um, with four videos of each after as time goes on. So, Right, speed it up again when we do the big movement command thing. Right, now what I need you to do is then change and try and run over the other side. And then just attack something. There we are. How are the stats? 24% of us have died. Siege, town battles are always like this. You just can't flank very well. You can't utilise your troops all that well. It just becomes a blob. Although we have surrounded them and that's the most that we can hope for. Ah, oh, those men down the middle aren't doing very well. Oh, that's not gone well. Go to them and hit them. How many cavalry did we lose? One. We lost one Warg Rider. Uh, I am actually very open to the idea that many of you have suggested of making the Misty Mountains a little bit different by basically giving them more Wargs. Um, and I, I do kind of feel a little almost foolish that we've not thought of that before. Because as many of you have said, as many of you may well know, Wargs are not just wolves that work with the Orcs. They are sentient beings. 
they are, they, I'm fairly certain, do correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they even have their own language. They, they have their own clan structure. That They are literally, well, I can't describe them better than calling them sentient beings again. Um, so, to represent them in the, the Misty Mountains do at least have three units of wargs, which is more than anyone else. You get one skirmisher unit, one elite unit, and the standard wargs. But potentially to try and find another another way to get a wag unit in there. So the, the Misty Mountains are a nation that focus on their devices of death, the Mangonel. The fact that the goblins are so reproductive, their numbers. And then thirdly, their combination with the wags. They would basically be the cavalry orc nation. Because of course Mordor, Isengard, Dol Guldur and Angmar are terrible in the cavalry department. With Dol Guldur being the best owing to their human connection. But even that's only one unit. And it's the same as Mordor. Um, you both get the same unit, but Mordor just can't train their mounted unit, whereas Dol Guldur can. So to the Misty Mountains, although they're already the heaviest Warg nation, but I would really consider, and I will speak to Hummingbird, uh, and indeed the team, about adding in another Warg unit. Of course, Wargs at the moment um, are really, really, really aggressive on the charge, but they're pitiful once they're actually in battle, and there's no real, real way around that, because they are camels. Remember that the model is a camel in the game's files, and camels are abysmal. They they suffer from a some sort of mechanic in the game that I've never really nailed down, but it just makes camels terrible. Um, so they've always had that problem. They've always suffered from that. So you couldn't really make a wag unit that like did well in sustained melee because they'll never do well in sustained melee owing to their terrible camel stats. You can make the unit have really good stats, and that will go a long way to helping, but it's never going to solve the problem. Obviously, no cam cavalry really should be in prolonged melee, but cavalry, horses, will do better than camels. So, units like the White Knights of Dol Amroth, for example, they do very, very well in, in um, sustained melee because of their very high stats, and cavalry notwithstanding. Despite of their cavalry nature, sorry. But wargs, you can't get around that. So, so my immediate thought is to have a warg unit that does very, very well in sustained melee. But... As I said, I don't think we can really do that. Now, the Bulk's Champions already fulfill the highest tier. They're, they're elites on horseback. They're the elites on horseback of the Misty Mountains. And, of course, you've got Wag Skirmishers and Wag Riders. But I'm not really sure how you could go more more than that. That's really the only options you get with Cavalry. You get heavy-hitting elites, Bulk's Champions, like Knights of Anumanas. You get low-level, just standard Cavalry, like Rohan Riders or standard Wag Riders. You get ranged Cavalry. Although I suppose you could give them an archer warg unit, but I just don't feel that that's really necessary. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, ideas, again, are massively welcome, because I would love to give the Misty Mountains another warg unit. I really would. And um, so your ideas for what you think that unit could be, I'd be all over. Because it would add to that fact that the wargs teamed up with the Misty Mountains, and the wargs are their own race, so to represent them better. Now, I've always wanted to actually add wolves, but the one time that I did try to add wolves, um, I couldn't get the animations file to work at all. Um, and I've never opened it, I've never fiddled with it, I've never edited it, I've never done anything. And But I would love to add wolves, because obviously the base game has war dogs. And they are a thing. And you can add wolves in exactly the same way. So there would be a, there'd be like a carrier unit, but that's not a problem. Uh, and then the wolf itself would, of course, be a warg. So they'd just be wargs. But I have no idea how the war dog style unit actually plays out. I don't know if they're good or bad. I really am unsure. Uh, but so what your ideas could be for a fourth warg unit for the Misty Mountains, I would definitely readily accept. And also, please do vote in the poll as to whether or not you want to see the Khazadim campaign. The next episode of that be the last hour-long special to end the campaign. No matter where we get to, that will be the end. Uh, and then the week after that, therefore, you would then get two new campaigns that you would have voted for throughout the week. Um, or would you like to see Kazadum actually end normally and then the new campaigns replace it then? With interim videos filling that last slot until then. 824, that's quite a substantial loss. Captain M. Life took a hell of a lot of us down. 310 kills, one of the units of Orc Marauders. <laughs> well, well done, gentlemen. Ah, oh, that's a loading screen I've not seen before, and that looks so cool. Look at those waterfalls. I wonder where that, where that is, or what that's depicting. <coughs> and Deep Hallow Falls, the first of the Shire Rats. These villages can't upgrade, so there is no point in having people here. 
the money from the hobbits comes from the resources, not from the towns. So having a lot of the towns does not matter. Hurry up! Oh, Dunland have got the south farthing. Oh, Bree, you really are out, aren't you? I've really just crippled you. Shall we toggle fog of war and really see what damage we've just done? Oh, sugar plum fairies. I'm sorry, Bree. It's looking like Garth Heligoff's going to be your last tower. <laughs> You're literally down to Michael Delving Undertowers and Hobbiton. But then Dunland are about to provoke the ire of the elves. Oh, they already have. They've got Karras and Ernled. Bastards. The Northern Dundine have only got Fairdor, but my god, are they holding on to that? Jesus, Kaloniak's got a ton of stuff. Amun Sul fell to the Misty Mountains, who are actually doing really well. Dunland have got Austin Ethel. It's going. Lothlorien have taken Dunla Steer. This is the strangest campaign I've seen. Obviously, that fell to Umbar in, inv in an invasion quite some time ago. The Misty. Linden don't seem all that bothered that they lost their capital city to the Misty Mountains either. How it goes in the south. Oh, poorly. Harad have... A... Why wasn't I told Dol Amroth were defeated? Or was I told? Dol Amroth have been defeated. Uh, so Gondor are now fighting off everyone. But they have still got Minas Tirith, interestingly enough. Of course, we don't care this time. We're on the side of Mordor, so... Let Gondor fall. See what we care. Rune, as ever, are incredibly powerful. Dale are down to only their three starting regions. Minus Burkalpis. But the dwarves have still got Kirikathol, their auto resolve helping them immensely. Oh, that'll be why they've not attacked. That will be why they've not attacked. Oh, also, the Misty Mountains have not given up on Gundabad. Well done. Oh, Anduin is almost defeated. Basically, the only good nation left seems to be Linden and Gondor. Especially as if I'm not mistaken, Ennard Wythe, yeah, have allied with me. But they are at war with Isengard, interesting, actually. So, Linden is really the only good nation left alive. Linden and the dwarves. Obviously, Gondor is still alive, but then they've got Harad, Kand, and Mordor. And Harad now have a foothold. So, actually, the Angmar campaign might end reasonably soon. Of course, both of these are going to die, and then we just have to make the decision, do we bother going for the final regions? So, it wouldn't be too long until one of these new campaigns actually gets a second, um, a, a second video per week. Gondor's got a little bit more time in it. Uh, so, my, your thoughts are welcome on a new WAG unit for the Misty Mountains. Please vote in the poll and tell me what you also think. Additionally, if you are, if it does look like Dol Amroth are going to win, then where would you stand on the Gondor campaign? Would you also then like to see the Gondor campaign end? Would you like that to come to a close? I suppose also then, by extension, please feel free to comment on whether or not you'd just like all three of them to end. Angmar is basically one owing to the strength of our allies now and so we've survived long enough for our allies to make us so that we can win um gondor of course are going to be fighting in the same arena as dol Amroth, so it's whether or not you want to see that repetition and of course kazadum we're already polling on whether or not to just end that so all your thoughts on all these things are welcome but for now that will be all so thank you very much for watching if indeed you have i am arakia galadir and the head of the modding team behind divide and conquer and until we speak again dear friends navar naden pedimad melunin and farewell